Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is Interjection 46. The interjection today is Cheerio. Okay, somebody wants a screenshot, do it right now. Let's get right to it. Cheerio is an interjection that is mostly used by British speakers to mean goodbye. Uh, it could also be used to say hello as well. Uh, it is not used much in the U.S. Sometimes it is used in the U.S. It is usually meant to be humorous, like we're trying to make a joke, or possibly to imitate a Brit, you know, if you were trying to put on a British accent, you know, kind of as a joke. I'm sure British people do this with Americans as well. Uh, so that's the way it would mostly be used in the U U.S., most Americans, however, do understand it through movies. We've seen a lot of movies, whether they were British movies or American movies, about you know something that took place in Britain or with British speakers. So we heard Cheerio a lot, it's just that we don't naturally use it much, and most Americans do understand it. Let's continue. The origin of this term dates back to the 1600s and 1700s in England. Around this time, some people who were well off, you know, had more money, uh, were transported, transported around by sedan chairs. You know, that's that like chair and they had those big poles and a person in front and a person in, in the back, you know, carried another person. Um, there was a chair and a box with a door that could open with a window. The person could sit in a chair as two porters, one in the back and one in the front, um, could, uh, could be carried by long poles. So they can carry the whole chair and they carry the person and everything. All right, uh, good. Let's continue. People would often call out for their service using the word. Now, a lot of people said they would say chair, but then they also said that they used to say chair ho. Chair ho. Uh, ho, possibly for holders. Chair holders, they hold it. So uh, perhaps they were chair holders. This soon became connected with the idea of people leaving. And over time, chair ho turned into cheerio. At least this is one major theory. I don't know 100% if it's true, but some people do claim that this, they believe, is the origin of cheerio. Okay, let's continue. And we have four examples to show just how it will be used. Cheerio now, come back again soon, maybe. Or number two here, cheerio, I wish you a good trip. Okay, the third one. Cheerio, see you at work next week, you know. And the fourth one here, cheerio, thanks for coming. And this is typically the way you would hear it used. Okay, anyway, hope you got it. Hope it was clear. Hope it was informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.